I'm Dan Ackerman, senior editor at CNET.com, and we are here taking a look at HP's new Mini 1000. Now, if you're thinking that HP is getting into the netbook game a little late, they've actually had from their commercial uh, business division a model called the Mini Note 2133 that kind of looks a lot like this. This new version keeps uh, what we like most about that 2133, uh, namely the kind of widescreen display and this big gigantic keyboard and this cool kind of elongated touchpad and updates it to an Atom processor. Now, of course, it's made out of plastic, so it, it's easier and that also brings the price down a little bit. So the display, it's a 10 inch screen, it's got that 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's uh, nice and wide. It's got that edge to edge glass, kind of like on the new MacBooks. It's a little glary, but uh, it's still kind of a nice sophisticated look for a netbook. The keyboard is the real star here. Uh, this thing is just gigantic. It's almost as big as a regular full size keyboard. Uh, they managed to squeeze that in because the system is a little bit wider than most other netbooks. Definitely the easiest to use, best netbook keyboard we've seen by far. They've kind of taken the touchpad and done the same thing, stretched it out a little bit, put the mouse buttons on the left and right rather than above it to save a little bit of space. Uh, it works fairly well. You might want to turn up the sensitivity a little bit because you don't have a lot of top to bottom space on the touchpad. Not a lot of connections on the Mini 1000. You've got one, two USB ports. You actually have an SATA port, which is nice. Uh, but instead of the separate headphone and mic jacks, you only get one jack that you have to set for either headphone or mic use. Unlike a lot of other netbooks that have small solid state hard drives, uh, this guy, you can get your choice of a couple of different sizes of regular platter driven hard drives. It gives you more space, but we prefer the solid state for the heat, for the weight, for the reliability. So that's probably the one thing we're not crazy about. Overall though, with the gigantic keyboard and uh, widescreen, it's definitely one of our favorite netbooks. I'm Dan Ackerman and that's the HP Mini 1000.